In graph theory, total coloring is a type of graph coloring on the vertices and edges of a graph. When used without any qualification, a total coloring is always assumed to be proper in the sense that no adjacent edges and no edge on its end vertices are assigned the same color. The total chromatic number chi of a graph G is the least number of colors needed in any total coloring of G. The total graph T equals T of a graph G is a graph such that the vertex set of T corresponds to the vertices and edges of G and two vertices are adjacent in T if and only if their corresponding elements are either adjacent or incident in G. Then total coloring becomes a vertex coloring of the total graph. Some properties of chi, chi, delta plus 1, chi, delta plus 1026, chi, delta plus 8 lane 8 for sufficiently large delta, chi, ch plus 2, here delta is the maximum degree, and ch, the edge choosability. Total coloring arises naturally since it is simply a mixture of vertex and edge colorings. The next step is to look for any Brooks typed or Vising typed upper bound on the total chromatic number in terms of maximum degree. It turns out that the total coloring version of maximum degree upper bound is a difficult problem and has eluded mathematicians for 40 years. The most well known speculation is the following total coloring conjecture. Chi, delta plus 2. Apparently, the term total coloring and the statement of total coloring conjecture were independently introduced by Bezard and Vising in numerous occasions. Between 1964 and 1968, see Jensen, Toft 1995, for details. The conjecture is known to hold for a few important classes of graphs such as all bipartite graphs and most planar graphs except those with maximum degree 6. The planar case can be completed if Vising's planar graph conjecture is true. Also, if the list coloring conjecture is true, then chi delta plus 3 results related to total coloring have been obtained. For example, Kilikos and Reed proved that the fractional chromatic number of the total graph of a graph G is at most delta plus 2. Some properties of the line graph and the total graph T equals T is Eulerian if and only if the line graph L is Eulerian.